Hey, what's up, guys? It's Carlos. I'm here to show you guys another tutorial. What I'm basically going to be showing you guys today is how to play with your gradients. A lot of people don't know how to do your gradients on text and backgrounds and so forth. So what I'm going to do today is show you guys how to actually use your gradient bar. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and open up a new layer. I'm going to make it the basic, basic Photoshop size. Um, we're going to make it a transparent, obviously. All right, it's a little bit bigger so you guys can understand. And what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna make a full. Um, I'm just gonna make a black background for right now. All right. Um. So. And we're gonna deal with the text being on white. Make sure it's a little bit big. I'm gonna put influential. Alright, and what I'm going to do is, what you do is double click on the layer, bring up your layer style properties, and we're going to open up the gradient overlay area, and go ahead and double, double click on your gradient bar, and when you bring this gradient bar up, what we're going to want to do is, a lot of people don't understand how to work this gradient bar down here. Um, in here you can add new points to your gradient just by going ahead and clicking under the bar and you notice new points appear when you click on each one you can change the color right now you see the whole thing is black obviously so therefore you don't see text right now what we can go ahead and do is let's say we can add a gray color here and a gray color here and say we'll add a darker one here you see and you can kind of see how it starts to starts to work out here and you can see the gradient working out on the letters um, a lot of people do this you can mess with different gradients um, obviously once you have a gradient that you choose you can go ahead and put save this one whatever the layer name of the gradient you want you just go ahead and hit new and it saves that gradient for you so you can use that one in later times obviously I'm not going to keep that gradient um, there's other gradients I've made, like this black one. You see um, the red one, this pink one. You can make different types of one. This one resembles the Xbox thing, kind of. Um, all different types of things you can do. Um, basically, this is what you start off with. Go ahead and pick one up. You double click on the, the swatch, and you can change it. This one, we can add a white again here. You see? Basically, wherever you put the colors, where it's going to show up. There's your solid gradient bar. You can change everything, your smoothness, your color, your location. When you click on these top parts of the gradient bars, your opacity of that color. You can turn that all the way down and it becomes opaque. But that doesn't necessarily work on a text because it's not an opaque text. It's more if you're just trying to create some type of vintage look and doing some type of a gradial look. Um, other than that, that's basically how you would work your gradients. Um, an example of that, instead of being on text, you can do that on a basic background. You can click your gradient, and you can always, when you do your gradient, always want to press shift and click, and your gradient comes out of that. You can do radial. Obviously, you can do a straight line. All different types of ones you can work with. Change your gradients. Gradients are your friend. Once you get to used to them, it's all about the gradient bar. Um... If you have any other questions or anything or comments and you'd like to know something else on Photoshop, let me know and I'll try to get a video up. Other than that, um, hope you guys understood the tutorial and enjoy it.